Hello, anyone out there? It's Wednesday. It's Whiskey Wednesday. I got to make sure the stream's going to work. We're having a little bit of technical issues already. This is how uh, YouTube works, how StreamYard seems to work. So we're going to see if this works or not. But I hope you're all there. All right, it looks good. It looks okay so far. We'll see if it's going to buffer or what. Let me know how um, how the quality is for everyone, please. Hello. Happy Wednesday. We've got Heaven Hill Night tonight. And with Heaven Hill Night, we've got a very special guest joining. I wish he could have been here in person. I wish he could have, but unfortunately not. We've got my brother, Matt, ADHD Whiskey. How are you doing? Can you hear me at all, Matt? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Is somebody there? You can't hear me at all. I can I can hear you, but your your face is frozen. That's how mad it is on my screen. Frozen too. so hard. So I need to know how it looks to everyone else. I'm, they're saying looking good. They're saying looking good, Matt. I don't know. I hope I'm looking good. You're looking great. I mean, I mean, I mean you're looking pixelated good, on like my screen, you. but you're still beautiful. I don't know. I mean, I, f I feel good. <laughs> good. I, I feel I feel pretty good. Good. Well, thanks for coming on. Um, we were just talking about a little behind the scenes there about quarantine going on. It's been a challenge, the quarantining. <laughs> Can you hear me at all or not? I you I heard quarantine, then I heard can you hear me at all? <laughs> Son of a beasting. Yeah, I think I think I had no problems internet, before. What? It's got to be your internet because everyone's saying I look good on my end. I mean that's natural, but you want to try to go out and go back in or switch Let's from see. like oh. to Wi Fi or from Wi Fi or something. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Son of a bitch. I know. You know. I'm gonna hop off and then I'll hop back on in a minute. Okay. Yep. Excellent suggestion. All right. All right. So in the meantime, let's pour some whiskey and let's see who's in the chat. Thank you for coming in. Matt couldn't hear a damn word I was saying. I was trying. He couldn't hear me at all. So got a lot of people here. A lot of people here early. Will Henderson, Michael Prime Time Klein. The champ is here. The champ is here. How you doing, buddy? Will be Will Henderson, Guy Davis cooking some delicious dinner with some 1792 full proof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Donald Rance, hot buttery rolls. How are you? Scott from My Bourbon Journey. Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. And the Bourbon Buddies are here. Good to see you, too. Brian ben Brennicky, Andrew Buchanan, Nick Foles, Jason Voorhees. People are flying in now. Um, thank you for coming. You know, it's Wednesday. This is uh, my favorite day of the week now. Um, like I was talking to Matt about, it's like with the cold quarantine going on, it's been challenging. Work has been very challenging. Getting any like whiskey stuff done outside of work has been challenging. So I know it's crazy time in the world right now for everyone. Um, thank God. I mean, I'm very blessed. I still have a, a job through all this. You know, I know a lot of us aren't that lucky. You know, a lot of people are going through layoffs and everything. So Wednesdays are a fun night to just kick back, not think about it, just have a good time. So I'm going to start with, mm, uh, let's start with Mellow Corn. As I said, it's Heaven Hill night. So I didn't realize how many Heaven Hill bottles I really have. So I started just pulling them and putting them on my table here, but it's not a small amount. It is not a small amount. I'll say that. Eric, wait, how are you doing, buddy? Thanks for coming in. Tim Evans, good to see you. DC in the house. Mad props on killing the cheeseburgers. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Everyone was doubting. You know, I mean, I, I got it in me deep down. I used to weigh a lot more than I do now. So, you know, I um, I can eat. I can really eat. Mm. What are you guys all pouring? Mm? What are you going to pour? Let me know if you need a pinch hitter for Matt. Mike, not a bad, uh, not a bad idea. Absolutely. I mean, you can come in. That's fine. Um, here, let me drop the link in um, Instagram. 
It's open mic. Anyone who wants to come in, come on in. I'll throw I'll throw a link down. <laughs> Sorry, honey. My wife just texted me and said you should never wear that shirt again. It looks terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, honey. <sighs> All right, let me pull up Instagram. Yeah, we can do open mic night. That'd be fun. Anyone who wants to come in, let me know. We'll do a little off and on time. I've been meaning to do an open mic night anyway. And, you know, Evan Hill night works. It'd be great. Oh, mellow corn is like literally just buttered popcorn. I mean, it just is. It just smells like buttered popcorn. Like you go to the theater and you just eat this out of a bucket. <laughs> Drink this out of a bucket, I guess, but. I haven't had the regular mellow corn. I'm sure a lot of you out there have. So like, what do you think of the, the regular mellow corn compared to the bottle and bond? You know, is it, um, is it good? Cause I'm just anticipating this, this bottle of bond is just way better. You know, <sighs> I got no damn service down here at all. My freaking phone is just awful. The worst part is my wife and I just got new phones. And this thing is a piece OS is what that is. it is. Absolutely. <sighs> All right. Matt is back. Let's try to pull Matt in. I'm still trying to load internet for, for Klein. So <laughs> there you go. You're so clear now. Look how clear you are. <laughs> it's what pretty you have bitch. To do, hardwire. And I'm back. Oh, I little I dotted some I's, crossed some T's. <laughs> Send a check to the internet company. I got you. It bounced bad. <laughs> I just poured some um, some mellow corn. Oh. I don't know. I see a yellow and green bottle top over there. If you there. if you maybe want to grab it, you don't have to. I mean, drink whatever you want. Yeah, it's on you. I already drank mellow corn. Yeah. I was just saying, have you had the the regular one or not? The regular what? The regular melacorn, the non the non bottled and bond. I assume the oh. one you have is bottled and bond. Oh, <laughs> Always the bottled and bond stuff. I know, right? Exactly. Klein, America. Klein, send me a message on uh, on Instagram, and I'll drop the link in here. My internet's not loading, but I'm gonna see if I can still receive messages. We Did might Klein get Klein to join us. That quick? Legend. He, he gave up on me that quick. He's he, like, oh, he literally not going to make it. The, the second you went out, he's like, I can step in for Matt if you want. <laughs> That's so of course oh. he could. Him and his impeccable palate. Honestly, that man's got to start a channel or something. <laughs> Mellowcorn. Mellowcorn. Ten times better than Evan Williams bottled them on. <laughs> I was going to bring that up to you, actually. Because I actually don't have that bottle right now. Good for I, you. Yeah, I, well, I finished it not that long ago, so. I'm sorry. But I haven't replaced it just because of you. Just because of you. I was like, Matt would be mad if I if I did that. That would have been silly. That's a bad, that's a bad bottle. <laughs> this is so sweet. This is actually really good. It's literally like butter. I said it's like butter popcorn. Yeah, I I don't go back to this very often, but it's really, really quite tasty. What eighty percent corn or something? And I know it's second fill uh, barrels, I believe. Second fill bourbon barrels they use to age. And what is it like eight dollars? Yeah, I like the bottle and bond. I think is like twelve, but eight bucks for the regular one. I know. And the label on it's so vintage and beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It definitely does actually stand out on the shelf, you know? Yeah, it looks pretty. My little corn. Looks like a cornfield. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a couple people asking about um, the cheeseburger competition we did the other day. Yeah, and how you, you destroyed everybody? Well, I mean, I wasn't going to say that. That's you didn't you did it. <laughs> it, was a, it was a moida. A moida. How'd you feel afterwards, though? I felt like eating more hamburgers at midnight. Really? You were hungry still? Yeah. No, not <laughs> No, not right away. <laughs> at midnight. Yeah, so I ate a couple more. Yeah. Did you? Okay, so you, yeah. You had six. But that, 
So I maxed myself out quickly. Mm-hmm. DC came in with a super chat. Said uh, regular mellow corn is old, barney, moldy, corny dust mixed with cardboard shavings. ADHD of my boy, Blue. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. Um, I don't have any super chat uh, videos to play today because we're on StreamYard. So I got to figure out something fun to do for that. You, you are going to have some really, really cool. I know Matt's going to have some really, really cool uh, super chat ideas he's already come with me with. I can't wait for that. He's What, what, did, what did I come up with? You, <laughs> I don't want to say it. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Was it on you? a live <laughs> You said um, one the the best one you said was uh, whiskey hangman. Oh yeah, that was like an incredible idea, really. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the junkies do such a cool job with their things, and I wanted to since I have a pretty small audience. There's an ugly guy. Um, Prime time. Well, I'll, never mind. I'll go away now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why would you go anywhere? You're the love of my life. Your trapezius muscles are jumping out of that star wars shirt yeah, that, that, <laughs> very revealing i like it how you doing klein i'm doing great man how you doing thanks for having me good thanks for coming in yeah you jumped on that opportunity awfully quick i just said i could pinch it if needed and you just <laughs> disappeared you were just gone <laughs> you you were you were in the 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 batter's circle with the weights on your bat already. <laughs> hey, you have to always be, if you're, if you're going to be prime time, you have to always be ready. Right. You're like, you gotta be in the zone. I'm ready. Four, seven. Well, guess what? I'm here. <laughs> you're here. You're clear. And you're not a man in a van. Not mm-hmm. tonight yet. <laughs> so yeah, Matt, Clearly, you Matt, you said whiskey hangman. So talk about that a little bit. Jeez, that was a pretty uh, drunk idea on a live stream of mine. I, th- I was just thinking, like, for super chats, it's, it's like the people who super chat pick a letter, and it's a I just have hangmans ready to go, and the face is always Klein, and then we go from there. <laughs> and then if they if they solve the puzzle, they win they win a sample. Yeah, I think that's that's a great idea. It's I'm like, just thinking like. ADHD is going to put like a full paragraph as is <laughs> with a lot of ums and uh, <laughs> yeah. no one will ever solve anything ever storm of life. No, I think that's a great idea though. Really? I think, um, I think I'd be a lot of fun. I know I'd be, I'd be super chatting. Speaking of which is YouTube gotten their shit together yet and got you. No, they haven't monetized me yet. No, they are <laughs> apparently sucking. Um, I blame it on the, the the pandemic. You know, they must not have people working working the desk. I'm sure that nobody does it. I'm sure it's just a computer slacking. Yep. <clears throat> no one's around, so the computer feels like it can do whatever it wants to. <laughs> two weeks. It's been two weeks. Yeah. 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 That that seems like a little far th- longer than it should take. It mm-hmm. says up to thirty days, but I've heard people get it done quicker. Can you make a call for me, Klein? Yeah, I'll, I'll make that happen. <laughs> Excellent. You'll be monetized by Saturday. <laughs> yes. Hello. This is prime time, Michael. What do you need, sir? Anything for you, sir? <laughs> so, hey guys, I made a I made a blend. I want to drink before the end of this. Ooh. This is a since it's Heaven Hill night. Mm-hmm. I did a 60-40 blend of Larceny Barrel Proof. This is a forty. Wait, no. Yeah, and Old Fitz thirteen year, sixty percent Old Fitz, forty percent Larceny Barrel Proof. Two separate meters, you say. I didn't forgot it was Heaven Hill night. There it is. Here I am taking <sighs> smoke wagon like a savage. Klein yeah. looks like Klein looks like he's on a boat. <laughs> well, it's because of my uh the table. I, 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 I heard I'm penis. planning on doing this, Matt. So I just kind of threw my laptop on a table when I bumped the table. Guess what? Looks like I'm on a boat. Yeah. I'm getting seasick, dude. See it from seeing too much of me. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> oh, now back to widescreen Porter style. I take up six, nine of sixteen. <laughs> yeah, that's like the third. Klein, I, I love the uh, the setup with the extra shelves and the lighting and everything. It looks great, man. Oh, thanks, buddy. What are you yeah. pouring next, there, uh, Chris? 
Well, you grabbed your larceny, your barrel proof. I was just going to grab larceny barrel proof while we're. I mean, I, we don't, I, I was going to save it for the end, but I don't care. I'm down. This is a fresh. I don't have anything else that's made by Heaven Hill. <laughs> it's all Buffalo Trace or <laughs> mixers. America. Yeah, I left, I left the living room. I'm like, Carrie, I'm going to go live stream. She just shakes her head. She doesn't even say anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See ya. Just expected now. Yeah. Just like every other wife, she's she's starting to hate me now. <laughs> yep. It happened, it happened quickly. Congratulations. You've made it. Yep, I'm, I'm there. At least you haven't eaten 12 burgers with her watching. <laughs> I got to tell you, bro, my money was on you and – I could not have been happier than when you went and grabbed the bag of the chips. No, it's all your idea. I read the comment. I was like, this has to be done now. It was, it was, it was beautiful. You just sat there and <laughs> ate the entire time, man. I know. The, the sad part was, is like, I wasn't even full. Like, that was the bad part. Like, I don't know. It's not healthy. <laughs> it's not healthy. <laughs> it was still great, though, man. I, I, I loved it. I'm like, that is awesome. I mean, then doing it. Once in a while, if you ate cheeseburgers and shit like that every day, there'd be a serious problem. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> like this. <laughs> you're you're looking at what you just described. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I am your imagination in person. You could be this. <laughs> the crazy part was too. I was drinking JTS Brown, and this was the bottle by the end of it. Oh, I saw. Yeah, yeah. You, that's you, crazy. You well, did, like, we had no water. Work. We had no water, so like, what, what am I supposed to do? You you took your rocks glass and filled it up about that much, and then went back for more. I'm like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look <at it> <laughs> yeah, once in a while, just once in a while, you know. Oh, the doctor. So the, the key to larceny barrel proof is getting it super dizzy till it's about to pass out. Yeah. Yeah, mine's definitely got to open up this fresh neck pour right now. Oh, quite alcoholy. You gonna bottle chug your larceny barrel proof? Yeah, like, maybe at the end. <laughs> climbed, it, climbed it twelve <laughs> off of the Buffalo Trace last night. That Buffalo Trace started to catch up to me when we were chatting after the stream, Matt. <laughs> yeah, that, was the, that was quite the pull. <laughs> quite the pull. Hey, I was doing good until uh, till afterwards, and I'm like, wait a minute. That was probably a little more than I anticipated that was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, DC came in with another $2 Super Chest. It's his birthday today. Cheers, buddy. Happy birthday. 35 oh, birthday, years ago. Okay. Cheers to you. DC, a.k.a. Doctor, a.k.a. Pulled Pork, a.k.a. Burnt End, Daniel Carter. Happy birthday. Ding. 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 Andrew, so, I am much smarter than pouring whiskey all over my face. I know I don't look like it, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I had some uh, samples sent to me today, uh, some Redwood Empire. Oh, num nums. Yeah. Mm. So the Lost Monarch, the Emerald Giant, and the Pipe Dream. I tried all three of those. He And then Christopher David in the chat, he's here all the time. He also sent Redwood Empire, the... Uh, Haystack Needle Cabernet Finish, which is 55%, which I have not had that one, but I tried the first three. I, just initial impression, I like the Lost Monarch more than the other two. I yeah, agree. Agree. yeah, Pipe Dream tastes pretty young to me. I didn't look at the, like, the specs of the background of the bottles even, so I'm not even sure, but it tastes grainy to me for some reason. But... What was the fourth one you said you had? It was a. Uh... It's a uh, hay. It looks like haystack needle cabernet fi cabernet finish at fifty five percent. Hmm. Surprised yeah. you found that. It's nice and dark. I mean, it's cabernet finish, so. <clears throat> I'm surprised you found that for the second. Not even a giggle. I didn't even hear you. Sorry. <laughs> the needle in the haystack. I uh, I get it. I get it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was found Not as well. <laughs> Nailed it. I at least a sm half smile. <laughs> I totally, totally didn't hear you. I giggled like a schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, though, my wife actually asked me for some whiskey today. So I let her try all three of these. And she said, it's actually not bad. 
She said, it's actually not bad. And this is the woman who like pukes over having anything at all. So did she try the Cabernet one? No, but that's almost 60% too. So I'm leery of that. Yeah. That's the stress of the apocalypse, Chris. They start digging whiskey. You might be right. You actually yeah. might be right. I got to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she's so I guess I got to buy all those bottles now. If that's the only thing she'll drink. But uh, even, know, even, yeah, even if she's hated. Was, uh, Lost Monarch and the Emerald Giant, those are those are by far the Lost Monarch by far is the best. But the Emerald Giant's still pretty good for a young. Mm -hmm. rye. Yeah. Yeah, I tried that one. I was like, this has got to be rye. When I when I tried that one, it's just it's rye for sure. Be careful saying that. Apparently, everybody's gonna label you as a rye guy, even if you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Definite progress. Um, rookie wine and whiskey enthusiast says, uh, which wine finished whiskey? It's Redwood Empire Haystack Needle Cabernet Finish. And it's 55% ABV. Oh, uh, Christopher David also sent Ardbeg Black committee release to me too. I cannot wait to try that thing. I love, I actually really love peated scotch. So, oh, we got a, a newcomer to the party. Jason. I'm leaving. Oh my what? god! Look at look at Jason's like setup here a second, real quick. What is going? What? Look what? At Jason. What happened? We flexing, Jason. What's going on here? Flexing. All right, flexing. <laughs> a twelve good looking whiskeys there. So that's that's all I do now is I work out and stay home. <laughs> <laughs> I either like either Jason's sleeves are getting shorter or his biceps are expanding at a rapid <laughs> rate. <laughs> And the real question is: Have you figured up how figured out how to get out of that seat without falling down? Uh, only sometime, about half the time now. I'm I'm raising it up. <laughs> progress. That is progress. Progress. That is my favorite super chat play of all time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the head peeks up over the corner. <laughs> <laughs> the look back. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to never get old. I'm working on some. I'm, I'm working on some like super chat drum solos, but it's really hard to get the. Uh, it's hard to get the sound right. It's really loud. Audio levels. Yeah. It probably peaks all the time. It does. I have to like find a way to, I got to you know make the mic lower or, or do some really focused miking on the, on the drums. So you yeah. should try whisper drumming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Will, you're, Will an, you're, you're, an, you're an innovator, Matt. I love it. <laughs> Will, thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate that. Cheers to you. He says, cheers guys. Cheers, Will. So I brought my little uh, Wee Heaven Hill Glen Cairn that I got at the distillery. Oh, nice. Drum Very nice. Um, I'm going to drink it up. I got to drink something low proof because I'm about to have 16 whiskeys tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Respect. You're doing, you doing all 16 in one night. What's that? You're doing all 16. Yeah. Basically, uh, what I'm going to do is wow, you just kick Klein out? Yeah. He's gone. He fucker. kicked himself. Sorry. Uh, yeah. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to. I'm not like going in depth like I normally do. I'm just going to do some quick tastings and see just head to head which one beats out which one and go from there. Look at look at Klein. <laughs> it's like Hollywood Squares. He wanted that one. <laughs> he wanted to switch spots with Jason. <laughs> I didn't like my position. So I had to come back in under Chris. <laughs> you. you. <laughs> I, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, my brain doesn't work that well. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do like quick tastings of these, and just I I threw in a bunch of random bottled and bonds just to see how it would shake out. Uh, so it should be pretty interesting. I didn't realize how many bottled and bond whiskeys I had until. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, when you said when you said like okay, I'm doing March Madness, 16 whiskeys. I was like, w w what? Like over five live streams or six live streams? No. <laughs> This Tonight. guy's doing it in one one live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking baller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All hundred proof. He's got 16 whiskey. That's gonna be a fun hour and a half. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start early. I'm gonna space them out, do some head to heads, and then see who makes it to the end to the end of the stream. So I'm gonna gonna space it out. I'm not gonna do not gonna like do them all like right one right after one another. So by the time you're done with 16, we're gonna all see that dunk face. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> That's my dunk face. I don't know how you get the head so perfectly. I literally zoomed in on your thumbnail as much as I could, and I was like, that is like his head right on there. How did he do that? 
Because I'm a Photoshop master. You are, man. <laughs> I'm the worst with those thumbnails, man. I'll tell you. How, how's your blend, Matt? I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> I, just just dumped, I just dumped Pikesville into Larceny Barrel Proof because I'm a gangster. Pikesville? You are. You know why? Why not? Why not? It's a good point, Chad. In his defense, nobody thought you would eat 12 McDoubles, but here we are. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's true. That is true. This is now the world we live in. <laughs> this, it is. Everything's it's, yeah, yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah, Cats uh, having sex with dogs. <laughs> Klein, Klein winning every freaking uh, <laughs> blind, blind tasting. Chris eating 12 hamburgers. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. No more rules. No more rules. It's anarchy. <laughs> Everything's on the table. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I like the Larceny Barrel Proof. Matt, you weren't a really a big fan of it. No, what are you? I liked it a lot. Well, you brought it when you brought it over, and you let me borrow it. Very, very kind and gracious. Uh huh. He says he's like, meh. It's it, it's meh. It's 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 meh. I was like, he's a whiskey snob already. He's a he's he's a whiskey snob. <laughs> well. He obviously didn't watch my in-depth review where I balanced my glass on top of the. But but I, when you said that to me, I was like, "Wow, I'm kind of surprised." Like I thought, I thought you'd be more yeah, on board. I said but. I liked it. It's 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 fantastic. It's like um, for the price and the proof. It's a it's a weeder, so you're not. I mean, yeah. there, like realistically, I think that there will be better batches of this for sure. But I I was yeah, you just took yeah. the word right out of my mouth. I. This did not come off as a weeder to me at all. Mm -mm. Um, it's it, I feel like the Heaven Hill profile overtook any possible weeded bourbon notes that you might get in a traditional weeded bourbon. It's right. it's like all Cracker Jack and peanut and totally. And, totally. and and sweetness and molasses. Sure. There's no I, there's a very 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 slight fruitiness to it that makes it seem like a weeded bourbon. But I think yeah I think there are better batches to come. I totally agree with Matt. Patrick Fulmer came in with a five dollars super chat. Thank you, buddy. Heaven Hill Night. He's got an Elijah Craig store pick. Awesome. Love those Elijah Craig picks. Haven't even seen one in like eight or nine months now, and now it's going to be even longer with barrel picks getting pushed back. But did you see that place in Chicago today that released yes. a Weller foolproof? Yes. Yeah, that, that was a crazy post, man. Sick bastards. That's crazy. Yeah, I posted it on the junkies page, and then I realized that it might be doing more harm than good because people were on board with it. <laughs> I wanted to go get it. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh, he probably just takes this down yeah. right away. That's, yeah, that's what's going to happen. They're going to run and try to go get it. <laughs> I was like, like oh, this is a great bullshit. idea. What a good reason to get out of the house. Yeah. Everyone was like, no, dude, you're bullshit. And I was like, that's true, but so I took it, it down. It is well yeah. foolproof <laughs> after all. It? We'll go. I, at the pharmacy today, I had like literally three people were like, oh, I was just so cooped up. I had to just get out of the house and go walk around. I was like, are you are you shitting me right now? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> they walked to the pharmacy. Yeah, they, they were just walking around the aisles, you know. Yeah. Might, just, as well, might as well walk somewhere with his medicine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want to get sick. Go to a go to a pharmacy and walk around. Yeah. Like, Nothing but sick people all day. Gosh, it's, yeah, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in the healthcare industry, so I, I hear crazy stories. Oh yeah, that's nuts. Oh yeah. If if Perry and I don't kill each other, it's going to be a miracle because of my my travel. I've been quarantined now for 13 days just mm. just to be safe. I, I had no symptoms or anything, but I've been quarantined, and now I've got three more weeks because the you know the governor shut down the state. So yeah. I'm I'm. Basically, we're going to be on, you know, five, six weeks of her and I in a steel cage death match in this house. So if, if one <laughs> comes out the other side, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be me. So it's been great knowing you guys. <laughs> so make sure it's recorded, whatever happens. Yeah, right. <laughs> Brian Brennicky also came in with a $2 Super Chat. He said, good on you, Jason. Got that barrel proof to warm up. After Jason just said, I got to drink something low proof, he goes for Yeah, this was the only thing I had in distance to me for uh, that was that was Heaven Hill. So. I think I seen Elijah Craig barrel proof right behind that smoke wagon right there too. But yeah, yeah, we got the other jewel. It's the A120. No, I don't mm -hmm. have a jewel, but it's the uh, the the barrel proof and the small batch. The small batch is one I don't recognize. Yeah, those, those, will, be my, those will be my next reviews probably Monday. 
So smoke wagon is just like blowing up and talk about, talk about great marketing. Like on Instagram, you know, that guy with his, his oh, videos man, he's the best. Oh, that guy is amazing. Yeah. He's, he's just, he's doing it right. He's, and he there, does there, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a persona that says smoke wagon, it's him. Absolutely. Oh yeah. He's nailing it. He is nailing it. <laughs> I love and, that guy. Does anybody bottle. know his name? Those are badass. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gorgeous bottle. Badass bottle. They're, they're really picking some great barrels, good blending. I mean, they're doing, they're doing everything. If you're going to use MGP, they're doing it right. Mm -hmm. But there's something funky they do with their barrels though. When they, when they do the age, um, like when they when they buy them, they only when they acquire the barrels, uh, they actually put them upright on pallets, mm. and apparently, like at that point, is when they consider themselves aging them. I don't know. It's something. It's something weird with uh, what I read. What they do. That That's weird. What, yeah, I have to go back and kind of clarify that uh, on my review. But yeah, I heard they do something weird with the. Because MGP obviously lays their barrels down, but when they get them, they turn them upright and they palletize them, they stack them. And then apparently that's when they say, you know, how old they are based on when they get them and flip them upside down. I don't know. It's something weird. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Well, I look forward to learning about it. Yeah. Like this. Like it's not like this, but like this. <laughs> we understand what you're saying. Jeez. We're not. We're not that dumb. I have to do visuals. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He he looked he looked at who he was dealing with. Yeah. And he's like, exactly. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I used to drive a bus, Jason. I understand <laughs> things. <laughs> he understands those mechanics. Like, I'm pretty sure the people in chat know, but the three guys in this room, they're they are just glazed over. There's no nope. idea. They don't know. Okay. Like Jason's talking again. Shut up. <laughs> 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 blah 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 science yeah. blah 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 blah. Yeah. I don't know what he blah, said. Blah blah wah wah. It's Charlie Brown's teacher again. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Jason, great work on that uh, episode you just put out. Which one? Oh, yeah. excuse me. Every episode you've ever no, done, man. Jason. I just put one out today. I wasn't sure which way if you were talking no, about no, today's the, the one before. The how to uh, experience whiskey? You know the note. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. Man. I didn't. I that didn't was like really good. I mean, like everything about no, it. That one was really good. De like good detail on it, you know. Yeah, like I, said, like I said, it wasn't a gospel on whiskey. Apparently, Matt didn't like it at all. <laughs> I watched it and I spit it out. <laughs> you said that one was shit. <laughs> I thought I thought you would appreciate that I said blueberries in it. <laughs> You stole my shit. I'm okay. <laughs> There's never been a whiskey made that doesn't have fucking blueberries or bread in it, according to me. <laughs> I just, I just mixed, I mixed Pikesville with Larceny Barrel Proof. Blueberries, blueberries, <laughs> blueberry bread, bread. <laughs> blueberry muffin. Did he get? Did he get blueberries and mellow corn somehow? <laughs> Now that you mention it, that'd be kind of delicious, though. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man! Oh my god! Port port finished mellow corn. Oh, that probably wouldn't be good at all. Actually, I know. I think I might try. Why bother? I might try it in my barrel. Why bother? <laughs> Why bother? Yeah. What do you have? What do you have in that barrel? Is that the is that the McKenna finished in the wine barrel? This is still the uh, tawny ports in here, so I was going to stay oh. in here for a month, and then I'm going to drain it out, dry it out, and then fill it with McKenna and see how it how it works. And then after I empty it from McKenna, I'm going to pour some Ardbeg 10 in there and see what it does. Mm. Mm. That'll be cool. Are you are you going to be taking out you know samples every so often and trying well, them? Once the once the uh, McKenna's in there, because these barrels take pretty fast. So yeah. Yeah. How long are you planning to leave it? Or are you just going to wait and taste it as you go and pull it when it's ready? I'm going I'm to taste it each day and see how yeah. it is. Yeah. I don't want it to get overwhelmed. I just want it to have like a little bit of a of a hit of flavor. So, it's will you be flipping like the barrel upside down? What? Will you be flipping the barrel to start the aging process? Oh, you mean like this? Like like this? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> if we've learned anything from Smoke Wagon, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Smoke Wagon. 
Scott Scott from my bourbon journey said, I don't even get blueberries and blueberries. <laughs> 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 Oh Jesus! <laughs> I didn't want to laugh because I knew Matt would have the look that he has right now, and he knows where I live. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Chris, can you highlight Chad Holly's comment for me? Sure. I have something I want to say. Chad Holly. Oh, Matt, I think I saw a video of you driving a bus. Now that you mention it, didn't you and a couple others eat thirty <laughs> bagged lunches that day? <laughs> I call myself fat so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Take all the work out of it for you. Then you go and throw out something like that. Oh, man. That's too good. And it was 20 at best, Chad. Don't be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. It depends on what those bad lunches were. <laughs> yeah. Sang sandwiches? Sandwiches? Sang sandwiches? They had some water. <laughs> <laughs> you always need water with a sandwich, <laughs> or uh, or like cream soda or something, or four mm -hmm. ounces of JTS Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently all you need is JTS Brown, and you can hammer down twelve burgers like Chris. Yep, do whatever you want. Elixir of the gods, JTS Brown. I mean, that is that, that is uh, had to have been the perfect pairing. It had to have been. He, he knocked down twelve burgers. Gotta do what you gotta do. I did find I forgot who had it. What was it? Bourbon blind that that paired somebody paired. Did somebody pair like will it to get like that pickle note or something? That like was, that? I did the double rye because <laughs> <laughs> <You> got it. <laughs> I don't clean it at ADHD whiskey anyway, Matt. <laughs> yep. Did, did, did you do that? Did, did you do that, Matt? Did that work out for you? <laughs> well, Klein told me to pair will it for the pickle oh. note, and okay. okay. I, I love will it rye so much. Uh -huh. That I was like, I don't want to ruin that relationship. <laughs> no. so I, it's a good I, idea. Double, I use double rye instead, the high west double rye. Oh, okay. Mm. And to be to be fair, it actually tasted really good with a hamburger. But yeah. it just kind of, you know, I had eaten all I, I didn't really take it. I should have not eaten all day. Yeah. <laughs> but I just ate like a normal day. At, like an hour before it started, my wife was like, Matt, should you really be eating chicken fingers right now? <laughs> So before before you guys aired that, somebody messaged me to uh, to drink, and I was wondering how this would go. Probably awful, but Dickel Tabasco with the burger. Oh no! <laughs> no, I saw that stuff on clearance for six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I did not minutes. buy it. <laughs> That's awful. Can't do it. Wow. DC came in with another super. He says, "Have any of you toured Heaven Hill?" Yeah. That's yep. how I got this little wee Glen Cairn. The wee Glen. Yep. I also I did the um I did the connoisseur tour. They were off, you know, season or whatever at the time when I went. So I just did it's pretty much just a tasting a little bit of history on Heaven Hill. Um, but you get to try better stuff. Like you got to try the William Heaven Hill 12 year, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Bernheim Wheat, and Pikesville, I think was the last one. So it was good though. You know, it was good to, I mean, a $250 whiskey in the gift shop, you get to try it for 20 bucks. I think that yeah. it was, yeah. so it's worth it just for that alone, you know, to try. Which, um, which tour did you do, Jason? Do you know? I did, I did that one where I got to try all the, yeah, I was actually with Scott for my bourbon journey and, uh, Dusty Dan when we went. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's really like the best bang for your buck at Heaven Hill, at least, because you still get to go to the gift shop, which mm -hmm. is real fine. Hopefully good stuff. But yeah. Oh, speaking of that, Jason, I mean, you're probably still up in the air, but your, your get together, is it officially pushed back or? Yeah, it doesn't look good. And it's, it's not yeah. based on anything that I want to do it. It's, it's really, it's, you know, it's at a bar and a restaurant yeah, exactly. down, and they'll, they'll probably need some time to recover. So, right. um, but we've had some, uh, I've had some conversations with, you know, bourbon junkies, a couple of other channels, and we're gonna keep talking to see if we can do uh, something collectively. Awesome. Uh, you know, towards the end of the year with all you guys and a couple of other channels. So we'll see how that works out. So more details to come. I don't want to say too much yet in case it can't happen. But right, right, yeah. oh, for sure. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Mm. All right. Well, I poured Pikesville next. 
I went to Rye. <clears throat> I think Pikesville is probably, I don't know, to me, I think it's probably the best value Rye on the market. Like dollar to what you get in the bottle for me. More than Old Forester? Yeah. I mean, it's twice as much. Yes, yes but I, I love the proof kick more in Pikesville. I mean, the, the amplified proof for me. But yeah. yeah. I want to see an Old Forester ride barrel proof. That's oh. what. Oh, oh my God. Hell yeah. Imagine. That'd be amazing. <clears throat> oh, actually, Klein, I'm glad you're, you're on right now because I, I got it. Somebody sent me a sample of the Jack Daniels. Single barrel rye barrel proof. That thing was delicious, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. That baby is. That baby is. Wow. That that's something that should be an everyday occurrence for Jack Daniels. Yeah. That is. I told you, Jason, on your review, I was like, I want that in a barrel proof. Yeah, you totally, you totally uh, said, said that. You were right. I mean, they get in the little. And I'm wondering if those uh, Tennessee taster releases that they're doing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is it might be a. I mean, it might, it might be some kind of a market research project for them to see which ones right there. are yeah. most popular. Yeah, yeah. I have I have one of those. I have the angel. I have the angel share one, which was specially selected barrels that just lost a lot of whiskey to angel share. So the so the what was left was really concentrated. That was really good. <laughs> I just shared. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much. As <laughs> it was delicious. It was a virtual. It was a virtual tease, is all it was. Mm. <laughs> God, look how dark that is! Like, look how dark that is. Yeah, like the camera there. It's like black on the side there. Yeah, and it literally gets better every time I drink it. Yeah, it's ridiculously good. It's funny because Klein also has the um, the rested rye, which is a the two year version of that at eighty proof. <laughs> not, not quite as good as what I would <laughs> Both of them were like, yeah, uh -uh. not, uh -uh. not. It, it has floaters in it that make you think that those floaters might be flavor crystals. <laughs> no. <laughs> flavor <laughs> crystals. I picked it up for them and then we tasted it together at first. And I was like, I'm glad you paid me for that already. <laughs> this bottle is going to stay at the level that it's at almost indefinitely. Yeah. There's like one one sip out of that. Yeah, it was. Actually, like four of us tried it. That's how that's how great we thought it was. <laughs> right. What's the what's what's the idea of rested? What do they say it is? So that was their um when they when they first started making rye. That's that bottle's from 2014, I believe. Okay. Um, so they had an unrested rye, which was even like basically like white dog rye almost. Mm -hmm. And then so they had they bottled that like as a special release. And then two years later, they bottled the unrested rye or the rested rye, which is a two-year version of their rye. So it was mm -hmm. kind of like they just wanted to show you the progress that their rye was making. Yeah. Um, and let's just say that I'm sure nobody was really looking forward to the, the future product. <laughs> <laughs> it says, as our, as our rye whiskey has rested in the barrel house, the spice character from the rye grain remains in the barrel as the barrels have begun to assert their toasted oak vanilla notes into the rye whiskey, though not quite mature understatement <laughs> the rested rye whiskey offers a hint of full potential for our tennessee oh, rye. Oh, you will under you will love this very limited release and then and then they watered it down to 80 percent. yes they did you know what klein you know what klein i don't feel bad for you even with that description and that alcohol content why the why would you buy that i i didn't and so matt was in the he store did. and he's like hey do you see that i'm like yeah that's 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 a cool bottle, and it's and he's like, I think I think it'd be really. This is what he said. I think it'd be really good. I go get me one. Oh, so it's Matt's part. Okay, okay. <laughs> what, okay, this is what really happened. I took a, I posted a picture of that bottle on Instagram. Klein texted me later that night and said, "Hey, can you get me a bottle?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hadn't read any of the side. I hadn't read any of the notes. I just knew that. Some of the uh, the Jack Daniels rye was pretty damn good, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna give that a shot. This one is not. <laughs> that description alone. <laughs> that description alone with the words they had to use to just pretty that up. I oh. think the potential. Yeah, yeah the that potential. was pure. That was pure marketing speak. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, if I would have read that we can get a peek into the window of their potential. I would have passed. <laughs> Grain alcohol is what it tastes like. Right. Yeah, it's basically like bitter white dog. 
with, with chunks of the barrel and rye in it. Well, yeah, man, but it, you know it's rested. Mm -hmm. It is rested. It's rested. And it's, it, it's gonna rest for the rest of its life here. <laughs> you think they meant to write rusted? They <laughs> <laughs> It was a typo. This bottle could be worth a lot more. <laughs> you got some rusty juice in there. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, thank you guys all for coming on. Yeah, this is fun, man. Yeah, thanks for having us. It was great. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Chris. I like these uh, just like jump in and shoot the shit type live streams, you know? It's a lot more fun. I enjoy it. Until Jason got here. Dude, what's with the hostility, Matt? Jeez. <laughs> I, lo I love you so much. <laughs> when, when, when I feel inferior to somebody, I, think I, I try to bust their balls a little bit <laughs> to make myself feel better. His sexual tension is so high. <laughs> it, is. Not, it is. Not everybody can throw a between the legs slam dunk. Like That's true, my, like Jason. Yeah, I, I tried I, to do. I, I, I tried I, to do a push up for the other day, like the uh, Instagram challenge. <laughs> I, I was like, I can pump out twenty five. I didn't. I wasn't. I couldn't do that. <laughs> Dude, Bobby, Bobby gave you the best idea. He said, "Just do one and loop it." <laughs> yeah, boomerang that shit. So yeah. I got to boomerang it out, man. I got I got fifty of them. I knocked them out. Yeah, just, yeah. Boomer, boomerang it like two hundred times, and nobody will beat you. Three hundred and twenty-one pounds. My tits hit the floor, and that was it. It was over. I collapsed, <laughs> and I woke up the next morning. <laughs> You're top heavy, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Do you have nipple chafing from one push-up? <laughs> Rug burn. <laughs> oh man we'll get there though a year from now you'll say Matt how much loose skin do you have and I'll say a lot <laughs> or I'll weigh 600 pounds and you'll probably call me a helicopter to get me out of this house <laughs> <laughs> well, if, you can, if you can somehow get to that they have a show for it they do <laughs> yeah, baby, famous just to think all the, well, think all the YouTube views you'd get my 600-pound ADHD whiskey life. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a market for that. There definitely yeah. is. There's something with drinking whiskey and doing push-ups. Yeah. Maybe you can make it a series on the channel, Matt, just like there every day. Just... <laughs> like a whiskey fitness. Like, can you get in shape with on a whiskey diet? Like, that's oh, the for sure. You can for sure. That's oh yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's prove it, prove don't it. Don't prove it. Prove it. All, all I need to do is make a bet with somebody, and then I'm done. I know. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. If somebody makes a bet with me, I can't do it because I'll bet you. Yeah. What do you want to bet? I don't know. You. I don't. What do you mean? What do I want to bet? I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to bet? Yeah, this, only, this only can be if if something if there's a goal that you set for Matt and he yeah. does it. Klein has to give him a bottle of something. Or, okay, maybe, or maybe we all do. Yeah. You guys tell me how much weight you want me to lose in six months, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Well, you tell us. Like, wh what do you – I mean, you know. You know I your want, body. I want you to lose weight safely the, in a way that you can keep it off. So if you lose if you lose 50 pounds in six months – I'm not going to amputate my leg. <laughs> pounds in six months, you can come pick any bottle you want out of here and take it home with you. Ooh. 50 in six months? Fifty yep. pounds in six months. So that's that's a good amount of time. And yeah, like you said, you can do it. Very it's not like kind of a fad way to do it. No, nope. yeah. I'll take a picture of the scale tonight. All right, and and also take account on what's in Klein's bar right now because you know he's going to be hoarding bottles once once you get close to that goal. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. You're so right. Or, uh... <laughs> I'm going to get there, and there's going to be just like <laughs> just screw. Like, <laughs> Nothing left. <laughs> no, dude, my brother. If you if you lost fifty pounds in six months, I would gladly give you anything that I have here. I love you that much, man. You come get Aww. some. My Absolutely. enlarged heart goes out to you. Thanks. <laughs> it's borderline. 
And I know you, I know you like Knob Creek uh, older picks. If you do it, I'll send you a, 50, uh, a just above 15-year-old Knob Creek pick I have. Oh. It's about 15 years and two months old, I believe. Wow. Ooh. Oh, now he's really intrigued. Mm -hmm. And you can also you, you can also walk in here and pick out whatever bottle you want from me too, Matt. See, I can't do that. I can't pick out a bottle. I, just, I can pick a bottle off from Klein because I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll I'll find something good for you then. And if I lose, what do I what do, what do I have to do? Because there has to be a two way street here. It just can't be fatter. I need there needs to be a repercussion. <laughs> You can, all three of you can sleep with my wife at the same time. <laughs> Just joking, because I was wondering if she's watching this. Um, um you, it, it, it's irrelevant because you, you're going to meet at the goal, so it doesn't matter. You have to drink the rest of my Jephtha Creed in one night. <laughs> I've got okay, Canadian you know, for you here. I to like the sound of that. Oh. <laughs> All right, I can do it. Yep. yep, and I'll gladly offer up my Canadian club from the 2013 World Spirits Award winner. So, actually, did you guys did you guys about another terrible whiskey? Did you guys hear about you know uh, you know uh, what is it Malort? You know that uh -huh. crazy yep. nasty whiskey. I heard about that. Yeah. They just they just released a barrel aged Malort that was finished in ex bourbon casks and rum casks. Wow, is that? Is that the one that said it won't kill the coronavirus? It just tastes like it should. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I have so since it's kind of originated in Chicago, I have someone in Chicago trying to find me one and send me one so I can crack it open. Uh, you're a brave soul. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm just. I'm so curious because the other one is so like sour and bad. Like I wonder. I really wonder what barrel finishing would do to it. I'm sure it makes it worse, but I'm just. Oh, yeah, I can't yeah. imagine it'd be better. There's yeah. no way. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. gee, Louise. So, all right, guys, I'm going to jump off. I got to get ready for uh, my stream over here. So, all right. Thanks for coming in, buddy. Cheers, fellas. I'll see you on the stream. See you soon. All right, brother. <laughs> yeah, we got a boat. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to pick on Jason. I love that guy. <laughs> yeah, Jason's awesome, man. I'm going to try my blend now. Yeah. You haven't tried it yet? I'm going to try my blend now. You haven't tried it yet? <laughs> <laughs> Very astringent on the nose because I just mixed it. Why not? You know what you need? A blender. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. With, yeah. with, with the blender and blending whiskeys, you don't blend all of them. You, it, has to have, it has to start off good. I learned that with, um, with the Fire Sean bottle. Is it, <laughs> it didn't make a non-drinkable blend drinkable. It just made it a little bit better. But like the old man Dan made something that was good, actually really good. Yeah. So it has to be quality already. Right. And then it just takes off it takes the edges off of it. Mm. Science. Science. What do you think? <laughs> if you had to pick out one tasting note, what would that one tasting note be? <laughs> What do you think? Blue balls. <laughs> Chris, do you have a do you have one of your old fits open or no? No, but I can. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I don't care. I'm gonna open them anyway sometimes, so well Dark. I don't want you to open it to blend it in larceny barrel proof. <laughs> I was just gonna say I've tried I've tried it before, but um old fits 13, sixty mm percent. -hmm. And 40% larceny barrel proof is actually the best thing I drank tonight out of the stuff I've drank tonight so far. It's actually really good. And that is because I'm a genius. From Smartsville, Iowa, Tennessee. Like you said, you have to blend it well first before you put it in the blender. Otherwise, this I might pour the rest of my larceny barrel proof inside my old Fitz bottle. <laughs> and just just drink it like that. Blend it first. Yeah. Which, uh, which old Fitz do you have, Matt? 11 or 13? 13. 13. Oh, that's really good. 
Hmm. Huh. Actually, not a huge fan of 13, so maybe Larceny Barrel Proof would make it a little better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Proof a little well, bit at least. That would help. Yeah. So the, the bourbon junkies seem to get these weird bottles that are no good. They got, uh, they got the tainted Elmer. They have the little bottles that they hate. They have, um, oh shit, what else do they have? That tainted Peerless Rye. They have an Elijah Craig 18 that they disliked like severely. Their Peerless Rye is the worst thing they have. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that was their Peerless. I'm wondering if they got all the bad bottles at the same place. If people are just filling up with Malort, they're like, damn, I got a bottle <laughs> for it. And he's like, be right over. I tell you what, my uh, I have a peerless rye that I, I I pushed and pushed and pushed of not getting it because of what I had at their place. It's fantastic. So I don't it's that's a that's a damn good rye. It's just there's they get they get the weirdest tainted shit. There's no doubt about it. Some of those single barrel peerless like picks are like ridiculously good. Oh, yeah. The single barrels, man, which makes me curious about the bourbons. If some of the single barrel bourbons are going to be really good too. I have a single barrel bourbon that tastes like a liquid payday. Really? It's salty, like, nutty, caramely. Phenomenal. <laughs> it's it's sugary, mm-hmm. nutty, caramely. It. I mean, it's it's literally if you if you just close your eyes and say payday, it's spot on. It's absolutely wow. spot on. It's it's almost too sweet to drink too much of it because yeah. it's like it's like a dessert. It's so good. Yeah, You're maybe my wife would like that one. That'd be the one she'd like. Oh, she would love it. I I, I love it. I'm, I'm. It was a uh, so it's a single barrel. It's a store pick, and uh, I'm gonna be so disappointed when it's gone. Probably probably about half gone now. Yeah, but it's a uh, uh, four year two month. And it was barreled on uh, July 18th, 2015. Okay. Yep. Is that the one you got for free? <laughs> That's the one I got for free, yeah. Oh, and it's, it's so damn good. Holy smokes. Yeah. Fact, I, I got to drink some right now. <laughs> America. Already nursing the bottle, and he's got to have more. Dessert after the whiskey night. Yeah, right there. Dude, seriously, that is... <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> What's the proof on that? Uh 111.4. Uh, man. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. It's a strictly sweet mash. Mm-hmm. No water added. Just a fucking ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta send me a sample of that. You gotta send me a sample of that uh Jack Daniels rye. All right, I'll I'll do both of those tonight. I'll put them. I'll put them in your bag for whenever you send me. What are you? You're sending me samples, aren't you? Yeah, I've got. I've got a couple things picked out, but like, it's really hard to pick out samples for a guy that has everything. So, <laughs> so I have to get creative. So I'm getting creative. I was gonna send you like one of the samples I had in the box, ready to go, was the un- unfiltered from a smoke wagon, and then you got a bottle of that today. So that you, when you buy everything, what are you supposed to do? You know, he's already he's already getting everything. So. So I'm sending him a box of low, like bottom shelf garbage that he's never tried before. <laughs> That'll be fun, though. That's fine. That's fine. And a Do couple buttons. Dude, Do hot it. buttery rolls. You are not kidding, man. I am getting horny as fuck over this beer. Like, it is so good. It is so good. I'm going to drink some more of it. <laughs> All right. We should probably head off, let Jason uh, get into these 16 whiskeys. I don't know how that man's going to survive. We'll find out, though. That'll be fun. 16. Um, 16. 16 whiskeys in one night. That's Crazy. uh, craziness. Hey, thank, thanks a lot for having me, Chris. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I appreciate it. I, I, seriously, we should do it more. I mean, I, I love doing this. Just Like I said, just talking, you know? It's great. Sorry I ignored chat a lot tonight. It's tough to do when we're all talking back and forth already. So, Yeah. Thanks, but Chris, for having me, too. Thank you for everyone being here. Uh, ADHD Whiskey, you already know who he is. So, ADHD Whiskey on all platforms. The man. The man. Primetime Klein. You already know who he is, too. <laughs> All right. Jason just went live. I just got the notification. That means I got to get off. Have a good night, guys. Everyone head over. See you Have soon. Uh, new episode dropping tomorrow. So please do check that out. Stay insane, guys. And, and broadcast. <laughs>